Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 51. I'm um, kicking things off with an elite clue that I picked up from Fishing Minnows. Um, haven't had a decent elite clue reward in a while, so I figured I would uh, change the scenery up a little bit. Usually open them at the bank where it's a bit drab, so I don't know, maybe change of scenery might bring a change of luck. Well, Master Clue, that's decent. I will take that and hopefully we'll be able to complete it. Um, yeah, so we'll see what we can do with that. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the episode. Hopefully we'll be able to complete this Master Clue. Well, I can't technically do this step now because I don't have a Dragon Pickaxe, but um, I was thinking to go for one at some point in the near future. So this might be a good opportunity to uh, go ahead and start thinking about killing some wilderness bosses. I tried some Venonatus uh, in the last episode. Um, so I might, yeah, I might just go and have a go at killing maybe Callisto for a bit, Venonatus, possibly even like the Chaos Elemental. See if I can get the Dragon Pickaxe and continue on with this clue. So I finally got around to doing my first ever raid. Um, I was very lucky, one of my friends, Visage Virgin, took me along. Uh, he's very patient. Um, we scouted a pretty easy raid to begin with, um, which I think was um, probably for the best. But having said that, it went really well. Um, didn't die at all in the first raid, which I thought was pretty good going. Um, I had a decent, I guess, basic understanding of how raids work. So I've seen so many streamers and uh, YouTubers doing their own raids that um, I've, I felt like I sort of knew what to do roughly in each room. Uh, and especially in the easy rooms, it's um, not too complicated. Um, didn't get a drop, but I was quite happy with the points, 23k nearly, and uh, held up against the uh, twisted bow that Visage has got, so not too bad, and uh, definitely looking forward to doing some more of these. I just finished up a quick trip at Callisto, and I'm quite surprised with the loot, to be honest. Um, that's only 8 kills, um, or well, that might be 9 actually, but 846k is um, a pretty decent amount obviously the magic seed is bumping that up but um yeah i think i probably do like between eight to ten kills each trip and then tally out just so that if i do um get pk then i'm not losing out on too much loot hopefully but um yeah i, I feel like i've got a decent chance of getting the dragon pickaxe it's a one in 171 drop i think so yeah as long as i don't get pk and lose uh, one of my varax pieces i should be good Run. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh my god. 59 kills, that is pretty lucky. Um it's been fairly enjoyable I'm gonna say like it's the first bit of content I've done since dying on my hardcore Iron Man where it feels like there's actually been um, a bit of real risk involved because obviously on a normal Iron Man if you die unless you're in an instance you can just go and pick your stuff back up but um, that's gonna be really useful I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to finish that master clue and um, you yeah, have fingers crossed don't get uh, a another step that I can't do um, but it's also going to be really good for raids as well. Um, so I've done the one, obviously, but yeah, really happy to get that. 59 KC, not too bad. All right, well, managed to finish that master clue and picked up a medium as well uh, along the way. So we'll do that one first. And the master clue. 400K, nearly on the dot. Eight master clues done. Palm tree seed and some toad flax. Yeah, not the best, not the worst. Well, I was not expecting to get a second fishing pet uh, within one level of the last one. Um, I didn't even see the message because I'm I'm playing uh, on my main uh, Rune Dragons just trying to make some bond money. I had the screen pulled down so Rune Light popped up a notification saying that it had taken a screenshot and I knew I wasn't close to a level at all but um, yeah, that's that's odd. All right, got a hard clue from a birdhouse. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, another armadillo page, very nice. I mean, I've already completed the book, but it's a, a decent value. I completely forgot that uh, you get this 
tattered KQ head now at uh, 256 KC. I don't think that's worth keeping because you can't use it for the Slayer Helm and I've already obviously got one mounted in the house. Good luck. Oh my god, I got something. I fucking got something on my third raid. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it up. All right, three, two, one. Arcane prayer scroll. I will take that. I will take that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, that was ridiculously lucky. The third KC item, and it's a decent one, the arcane. So yeah, just, uh learn that and that's permanently unlocked very happy with that and talking about luck the very next raid visage gets the twisted butler in a duo so that's um pretty lucky i've seen two items now in four raids cannot complain hopefully more purples for me to come soon all right we have a hard clue can we get anything good oh boy that is not good at all all right, got an elite clue from a skeletal wyvern. Can we get anything good? Yes, master clue. All right, um, see if I can do this one. Hopefully I can. Looks like the first step should be easy enough. So fingers crossed next clip will be uh, the casket. Well, thankfully managed to complete the master clue. I believe this is number nine. So let's see what we can get. Yeah, it's number nine. Um, nothing too special there. I'm pretty sure I've already got the left eye patch. Um, either way, it's not a particularly exciting unique to get, but there we go, master clue number nine. That is a very nice uh, Dagonoth task, 175, so of course heading back to DK, still looking for the Archer's Ring and the Seer Cull, so got a decent chance of getting one of those, I guess, in uh, 175 kills, and um, that'd be just over 50 Supreme kills, so I'll have to split it over two trips because I can't quite manage that many uh, in one trip but uh yeah let's see what we can get and got another elite clue this one is from raids actually so let's see what we can get yeah not bad you see that's uh it's always handy for farming xp uh the teleports not going to get much use out of those i'd like to get some more taibo one eye teleports because i've completely run out um and they're handy for doing calquats so yeah, maybe I need to stock up on some medium clues or something to try and get a, a little stack of those going again. There we go, Archer's Ring, which pretty much means I only have one item left to get here. Um, that's of use, which is the Seer Cull for the Elite Step. Um, I still don't have the Warrior's Ring, but I don't think it has any use anywhere. Um, obviously, it would be nice to get, but um, I'm not going to get too excited um, when that drops on the floor to be perfectly honest because um, it's just yeah it's quite common so I'm going to do enough DKs that I'll get plenty of those in the future um, but the Archer's Ring that's really nice to have and um, I'll definitely head to Nightmare Zone fairly soon and uh, get that imbued as well. I really like seeing the DMEDs on the floor I know they're not rare at all and well no they're rare from the rare drop table you know, if you get them normally from a monster, obviously I've got about 30 of these from Zora, but I don't know. It's uh, it's like the shield left house and the dragon spirit. It's just a nice surprise to see on the ground. And the second ring of the trip is a Sears ring. Um, my second one, um, not worth too much, but yeah, let's see if we can get any more rings this trip. All right, well, that is the DK's task done. I uh, didn't get any items in that second trip, but um, more than happy with the archer's ring in the first trip. Um, I need to go ahead and get that imbued as I said, that would be very useful for raids actually. Um, yeah, I was uh, trying out augury as well, um, pretty handy, um, it's good for getting heals on wrecks. Um, yeah, I think I've got a hard clue in the bank so I'll go and do that as well. Alright, let's see what we can get. Ooh, green dragon mask, I've not had that before. How's that looking? <laughs> that's going straight in the house I think. So, turns out I do have one of these. I thought I had the blue one, but um, yeah, I guess that's just going to be sitting in my bank then. Well, guys, that is it for today's episode, unfortunately. I hope you have enjoyed watching. It's been a pretty nuts episode in terms of drops. Um, the dragon pickaxe to open things up, and then obviously heading to raids for the first time and getting that arcane was um, a very nice surprise. So, um, we'll definitely be continuing the raids in the next episode, uh, along with Slayer 
and probably some skilling as well got a few things that I want to start working on um, but yeah thank you for watching and uh, hopefully see you back in time for the next episode which will probably be in a week or so um, yeah take care